Okay, kid, get on the magic school bus. Today we're reading Edia Karen Fauna. This thing is called a Kimberella, which sounds like Cinderella if Cinderella was the pumpkin. We'll eventually evolve into a Pokemon called Xenoturbella that sounds a lot cooler, but is ultimately still a slug. 7 out of 10. Ikaria Wario Osha. Not to be confused with Ikaria Mario Osha, Ikaria Luigi Osha, or Arcaria Waluigi Osha. Ikaria Wario Osha is a cousin, or aunt, or maybe sister wife to Kimberella. 6 out of 10. I don't like that one. Next. God, next! 0 out of 10. This is a Mothanite. Let's be real, this thing looks like I left one of my succulents on the windowsill until it fossilized. Probably look pretty cool live though. 8 out of 10. Charnia. Very Geiger-esque, and we all know what that guy's deal was. This guy, the Charnia, lived in complete darkness, sucked up whatever junk was floating around, accumulated empty pipeline punch cans on its nightstand, watched a lot of Neon Genesis Evangelion, and probably wondered about microdosing estrogen. Look, she's doing her best, okay? 9 out of 10. Whoa, slow your roll, buddy. You're looking at none other than the official fossil of South Australia, the Springina. This trendsetter has baffled scientists because no one knows if it's a worm, a plant, a charnia, a flappy boy, a weird spider, or even just a guy doing his own thing. No photograph, please. 8 out of 10. Dickinsonia. Classic flappy boy. The prototype. The goat, if you will. Flapping around shallow seas, basking in the sunlight. This guy has absolutely no idea about Microsoft Teams. Never attended a wellness seminar. Evolution should have stopped here, really. 10 out of 10.